Hi and welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you how to create a landing page with Builder or Website Builder. If this is your first time on the channel, you are welcome. After watching this video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this channel. Alright, let's get straight into the video. So first, if you don't have a Builder or account, I'll put the link in the description box. You can click on it and you will land on this page. So the reason why I want to create the landing page is that let's say, for instance, if I want to promote this product on Facebook or Quora, Snapchat and stuff like that, I cannot just copy and drop the affiliate link. I have to have a bridge page, bridge page and landing page. They are all the same. It's just bridging between the network you are promoting this product on before your sales page. To begin, I'm going to log in and I will show you how it works. So first, you can access the Cheetah Builder website by clicking here or you can go to and you have all your tools here. So I have the Cheetah website builder like what I just showed you, the mailing box for email marketing and CRM and custom email and the list goes on. Okay, we have a whole bunch of them. One advice I'll give you, if you need a custom domain, a professional email address, create and verify professional email inside mailing box okay because if not your website will sit on build the all subdomain and with that you cannot capture emails which is not good i have a tutorial from my other website and i will drop it in the description box for you and connect a personal domain or a custom domain create professional email address and verify it and sorry i have to take my time to go through all this because it's really really important so this is what we're going to use to create the landing page so click on enter all right so these are websites i've published already yeah so these are websites i haven't published yet all right so to create a website all right so in your case you might have empty panel here all right because you haven't created any website yet so when you log in this is what you're going to have. You have only this. This is what you're going to use. So click on it. All right. So if you want to know more, you can click on tutorials, but that's what I'm showing you. So you don't need that. You have a whole bunch of templates here, but I don't like using them because you end up doing double work. Click blank because with blank, you have total control. You can preview or select to enter, but this is a blank page. So there's nothing to preview. So I will select save. All right, so this is your website already. So now this particular website I'm about to create, this is the dashboard for that website. Click on edit page. I skip this. I don't want any of that. Click on this and delete it. Okay. All right, so here, click on panel, click on blank. So let's see if I drag it down more. See, it's going up. All right. So this should be enough. I'll go straight to the sales page attract new customers every day and sell more all right so in my case i don't want to use that so this will just uh, catch people's attention to read further then i will say uh, the word most complete and powerful digital marketing platform. So don't worry, when I'm done with all this, I'll change the background, all right? Then I'll go here. Click on email marketing form. So it's prompting us to select the email form I want to connect to. So I'll close it because I don't have email form yet. So close. So center. 
So we're going to connect it later and then you see everything will come to life. I have to put a secure test here. So I'll click on here. This one. So you drag and drop. Okay. And I'll close it. So I'll say... Alright, so I'll go back one more time and I'll use this one, drag and drop it here. Every website needs a disclaimer. So, so what disclaimer does is it tells people the page that they're about to view. They are doing it out of their choice and if anything goes wrong, they can hold you responsible because everything is vivid and clear, okay? If you don't have a website like I do, in my case, I can use this. So I'll just click, let's say disclaimer. Right click, copy, and now use it. But if you don't have your own website, let's say, and you are promoting this product or any product, all you got to do is just come down all the way down and use the terms of use and privacy policy. So you can use this, but in my case, I have my own. So I'll use mine. All right, so let me go back here. So I'll copy this, control V to paste, okay? And I'll right click, then paste. highlight this okay then I'll click on the link here then I'll go back this highlight everything right click copy go back here click inside and make sure it's on web not page okay right click and paste then open in a new tab okay like the way when I open this one See, when I open this, it open in a new tab. So this site is still open, okay? So then you scroll down, then select. So when the link is embedded correctly, the color will change, see? And you can see the clickable link, okay? Now, there's one more thing you have to do, okay? Let's say, for instance, if you're going to promote this product on Facebook or on Snapchat or on Quora, okay? Whichever platform you're going to do this, but especially Facebook, they are very, very particular about this. This website is not a part of Facebook book okay then you're gonna get the right thing so click on here this is what you need so right click copy Alright, so this is really, really important. So now I'll change the background image. Alright, so let me save it so I will not run into trouble. Okay, then that's fine. Alright, so at the moment, this website is riding on builder or subdomain, which is not good. And that's why I said you should have your own custom domain, professional email address and uh, connect it to your website so that you can run email campaigns if not so i have the 
tutorials in the description you can watch everything all right all right so i'll close it and i'll change the background see this line here or there click outside then you click edit then let's see background settings so if you want to change the color click on this okay and you can change the color to whatever you want so let's say i want red something like that but i don't want that see right away when people land on it you want them to have a similar color so let's see all right so something like this i i want so you just have to play with the color codes but if you know the code you just copy and highlight this and paste it here okay all right so see this is a bit closer they have the blue up and the purple down but i need to switch it i don't have to make it close and as you can tell the tests are all white so i'll use uh So if you want to do direct linking, what you're going to end up doing is you don't care about capturing email addresses and stuff like that. So that way you don't need to create email list and email sequence just so you can put this page on Facebook and stuff like that. Go to your affiliate page. And with this product, this is my affiliate link. So I'll come and copy. All right. Every affiliate page is different so in today's video we're not gonna be capturing email address so what i'll do i'll just delete it just so it's gonna be perfect tutorial so i'll save it and that's fine okay click on it and delete it so we're gonna go back and go back here and click on button and i'll select uh, one of this i like uh, this one i like this one so i'll drop it close so click on it and center all right so like i said we are not collecting emails in this particular tutorial i'll show you on my next tutorial click here and edit push this up so it just kept the color that i was using earlier on which is good so add line so instead of register now i'll say Save first. That's fine. All right, so now we're gonna click it again and link. Make sure it's on web page. On the final page, you don't want them to open in another page, okay? Like in the new tab, no, all right? So let it be on the same, all right? So select, all right? So now it's selected. So now it's gonna have the link. This is just a simple page. Save and that's fine. So I'm gonna wait for like 15 seconds. And after, I'm gonna go back here and republish it. All right, but before that, we need to make sure the mobile version is working. So click on the mobile version. All right, so you see this, click on this. This needs to, no, actually this needs to go up. Click on it again, go up. Click on this one, go up. The rest is good. One thing about like, I don't like about the mobile version, it's too close. Like even when you want to, you know, push it down, it doesn't work. So I'll leave it like that. So this is the tablet and we'll go back to the desktop and we have to save again. All right, so now we are doing the waiting like 15 seconds. That's what it says. So after 15 seconds, then we can republish again. Actually, let me go back there. Okay, then republish. So when you republish, everything here is successfully changed. Let's 
actually let's check back the mobile version again just to make sure okay everything is good so we'll go back all right so then what we have to do next i want to connect this click on domain so if you want to buy a domain from builder you can buy from here but i would advise you to buy from namecheap i'll drop the link in the description box just so in case something goes wrong you have your domain okay because with this something goes wrong or your domain is gone but if you have from third party and something goes wrong you can relocate or redirect your domain name to your host all right so i want to connect it as a subdomain okay i'll go back here so copy this right click i'm gonna connect it so right click and paste okay and make sure you take out the https so i'm gonna call this uh builder all but you don't want the name builder all to be part of your website or anything that you are promoting so and also it's not good because when people know it's build all they'll go straight to that so what you do i'll say i'll say best builder dot okay don't forget about this actually you don't need the forward slash just take it off best funnel builder dot success blade all right so this is the subdomain name best funnel builder dot success dot com okay so what i'll do i'll just connect it yes i want to connect this success okay so if i want to connect like uh, original domain i will move, i will proceed from here okay but like i said i'll drop the video in the description box so you can watch it shows you step by step what to do but in this case i'm done i'll go back to home close this okay so this is the name so go here go to main site so i have to wait for like 15 minutes to half an hour then i'll come back to check by then it has propagated okay so i'll leave it like that once you have this the http the lock and best funnel builder dot whatever that means it's gonna work it's just doing its thing so give it some time so i'll come back later on to check all right so it's after half an hour so let's check if this thing is working so click on this app sign and then go to the website page boom it's working it didn't take like 48 hours or so well in most cases it's just half an hour all right because way back when build hour started it doesn't even take half an hour it takes like like five minutes but i don't know for some reason now it takes a bit long so let's check if the link is working so click on the link and let's see where it's taking us and bam it brings me to the sales page and as you can tell this is my affiliate uh, link so if somebody is interested in it and scrolls down let's see and just click on this so basically that's how you create a landing page or a bridge page just so you not get banned from uh, facebook quora and all these websites okay all right so avoid getting banned and create just a simple page or a bridge page now in my next tutorial i will show you how to create email list and email sequence and connect it to this landing page where is it okay let me go back to this landing page just so if you want to capture email addresses and promote future offers all right that's what affiliate marketing is all about thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel bye for now